My plan is simple. I go in, kick butt, we win. <sighs> we need more of a plan than that, Ben. And how is that not a plan? We're outnumbered. They know how to fight us. And you're a glory hog, dude. on Team Teen Cartoon Heroes Unite. Team Team.
Queen. Cartoon heroes unite. Hey, Wade. It's been a while. Yeah, cause you're hard to reach. What can I say? I'm a little too busy for Kim's team team. I've been dealing with plumber stuff. Had to save the galaxy three times this week alone. Well, this should be easy for you. Danny said that Fenton Works was able to pinpoint where a portal to the ghost zone will open. And since you're the closest to it, you can deal with whatever comes out there. Eh, sounds simple enough. Though it's strange that one will open in the desert. As I'm sure you're aware, dimensional rifts are nothing new, but scientists the world over have noticed an increase in them over the past month, especially in your area. So keep your eyes out for any anomalies. Roger that! Thanks, Ben. I'm sending you the coordinates. <sighs> A hero's work is never done. Huh? Whoa! What the? Huh? Hey, you're pretty fast! Uh, so are you, um... The name's Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. And you? I'm... Ben. Ben, huh? That's an odd name for an alien. For me, that's normal in this world. This world? Yeah, 
Me and most of my friends here are all from different worlds. Really? Hola, Senor Ben. I'm sensing a pattern here. Hey, this is a bit sudden, but think you can help us out a bit? A friend of ours got captured by some hunter, and we're trying to rescue her. Uh, yeah. Sure. Cool. Just try to keep up. Okay. I'll chalk this up as an anomaly. Now, according to my copy of the map, these are the coordinates for the Ghost Zone portal. Enough! Accept your fate. You had no chance escaping the greatest hunter from the Ghost Zone. And with you as my gift, not even Ember can question my status. And what a prize you are. A creature thought to be a mere myth in this world. <coughs> I don't know what kind of bird that is, but it'd make a fine pet to keep in a cage. Huh? What? Another one? What kind of snail is this? Hey, get away from that! You are fine. Try something deep and wild to crack. Keep trying. We'll handle this guy. How many more of you speed freaks do I have to deal with? Yes. What? And just what are you supposed to be? Seriously? I'm Ben 10. I've saved the world hundreds of times. And I know who you are. You're a skulker. Daddy told me about you. You know the ghost boy? No matter. Anyone who's a friend of him is an enemy of mine. You're too slow! Am I? Man, I hate fighting ghosts. <laughs> huh? I'll explain later. Go help your friend. What? No! I'll stop you dead in your tracks! What the? Heads up, guys! Oh, yeah! This cannot get any weirder. Shapeshifter, you'll pay for this! Set me up, Diamond Dude! I'm coming in hot! Sure thing. Robots are a problem here too, huh? I was expecting a faster rescue. Well, that guy did turn invisible. You wouldn't have been able to find him if it wasn't for Ben here. He knew where this skulker guy would end up. And I was just on my way to investigate a portal scheduled to open here if I ran at you guys. And I would have left this world easily. If you haven't robbed me of my prize, you all will pay for this! From us. Not bad. And that portal won't stay open for long. And I got this all done in ten minutes. What the? You're one of those weird hairless creatures this world is full of? Are they all changelings or something? Guess you never saw a human before, huh? That is what you are, right, Ben? I'd love to explain, but I'm starving. Y'all want to get a bite to eat? So... You're all from different worlds. Well, not all of us. Turbo over here says he's from this world. Well, a super speed snail's not the weirdest thing here. But are you two from a universe of fast animals? Oh no, senor man. We just have it to help protect ourselves from bad pussycats and coyotes. Uh-huh. And you? Nah, you can come close to being as fast as me. I never got a real challenge until I raised these guys when I got here. But how did you all get here? All our stories are the same. In the worlds where we were, we were just running at top speed and just warped here. We tried doing the same trick to go back home, but no luck! And we've been stuck here for three days. I miss my friends, and I bet they're worried. Wade told me about portals opening up. I didn't know it was this bad. Listen guys, I'm sorry you all got separated from your home and friends, 
but I know people who will be able to help you out. Whether it's a science or magic problem, they'll be able to get to the bottom of this. I just sent a text to my cousin. She'll be... What? Wait, another team team call? It's non-stop with these guys. This is Connie Mahesrin, calling on behalf of Steven Universe. We need help battling this giant crab in Beach City! Wow! Beach City, huh? I guess they sent it to me since it's not too far from here. He's so chill about this. Does he do this every day? Sorry guys, but I should take this. Gwen and the plumbers will be here soon to help you. I'll get back as soon as possible. Uh, a hero's work is never done. Mind if I tag along? Sonic? But what about your friends? Rainbow Dash can watch after them. Plus, you helped me out, so I'm gonna return the favor. <laughs> cool. Just try to keep up. Hey, Dipper! Adding stuff to your journal? Yeah, I'm trying. Now that summer's over, I don't have time to find any new weirdness. Not like there's much to find in this town. Well, maybe you can add this. Steven sent me info about that gem monster we and all those other guys had to fight. Yeah, that was crazy. Wait, you've been talking to Steven? For how long? Since we met him back before Weird Mageddon happened, you would too be on a smartphone. Oh man, I have so many questions. I mean, the guy was half alien. Well, he wrote some answers about that gem monster. Read what his friends told him. It's saying how during their empire expansion, some of their gems went missing, supposedly abducted by other aliens. And there were accounts of them being involved in experimentation. Didn't you and Ford find a spaceship under Gravity Falls? Oh my gosh, we did. That explains why the gem was there. It must have been one of the creatures on the ship and it lay dormant all this time. Wow, this is amazing. I'm going to add this to the journal. I'll tell him you said thanks. Man... It's a shame a text is the most exciting thing that happened today so far. What? Well, ain't that a coinky dink? Sup, turds? Rick's in the house! Whoa, hey, what are you doing? Giving you a cootie shot. Ow! Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Dude, what the heck? Chill, man. Let him do his thing. No, no chill. Who the heck are you guys? What did you inject us with? Something to protect you. Girl, go stand! Go, go forward! Kids! We're glad that you're alright. What are you all doing here? Wait, do you know these guys? Who are they? What are they trying to protect us from? What? Oh! Kids! Oh, I don't know. From me, perhaps? <laughs> man, oh man. I thought I'd never get another chance to kill you, kids. And you still won't. chemicals designed to solely destroy that new body your mind latched on to. Yep, the smartest guy in the multiverse figured it out a Raku. And after that fight back in my place, decided it was high time to inject us with a little bit of it. Can't really lay a finger on any of us. Can't control our minds either, so don't even try. And hopefully this monologue will give my grandson enough time to recharge his weapon. Oh, right. Okay, it's ready and... Ah! Morning! Ah! Did you plan for my lasers, smart guy? I think one more blast ought to finish the job. Whoa! Somebody take the shot! No! Hey, Pine Tree, Shooting Star, <gasps> why don't you pick on someone your own size, like your whole student body? Too bad Rick couldn't save these kids from me. Now my puppets, attack! I hope you got a plan, because we're in big trouble. Well, I wouldn't call it big trouble. 
Wow! It's great you brought that with you to school. Well, after being useless during that rock monster incident, I felt I need to be prepared for anything. Well, you're both pretty useless. Considering you let Bill get away. What? what? Uh... Classic distraction scenario. Watch it, pal. Don't call them useless. Yes, Rick. None of this would be happening if you secured that acute specimen better. The only reason that thing broke out is because it was attracted to Bill, who was still in your brother's head. Yeah, good job securing him. But we used the memory eraser. It was supposed to kill Bill. And it wiped Stan's memory away too, in some big heroic sacrifice. Yet none of you considered the fact that Stan's memories coming back meant Bill could come back too. And you. You insisted we come here instead of getting another sample of Aku in Beat City. If we've gotten that sample instead of rescuing these kids, I could have taken it to the lab and found a way to destroy Bill for good! Bill headed straight for Dipper and Mabel. We had to protect them. Besides, the Crystal Gems could take care of the other Aku sample just fine. Wait, Crystal Gems? You know Steven Universe? Yeah, we do. Let me tell you, and Half-Breed has some serious mommy issues. But Rick... What do we do about Bill now? Well, since he's crafty, we gotta keep an eye on him. But according to the scanner, he's not even on Earth anymore. Aku. So, he's the one who saved me from Stanley's mind. That memory race did a number on me. Stan would have died before I could fully piece myself together. I would have been gone for good. But thanks to him, I'm good as new. He gave me a new look. Powers the boot. Now I can control people without shaking their heads. How convenient. But that Rick Sanchez is smart. Too smart. And with him able to track me, Earth is no longer safe. Ugh, whatever. I've got a whole freaking universe to explore with plenty of planets to rule. Forget Earth. I'm going. Wait. There's something on Earth. Something calling me. Come on! It's just around the corner! Connie! Steven, I think a serious mission is about to happen! Yeah! But where is she? She is right! Oh! Hey, Moana! I hope no one messes with my book. Whoa. Hey! Hi! I'm Steven! Moana... Here you go. Thanks. So tell us, where did you sail from? Somewhere apparently very, very far. No doubt thanks to that beam of light that appeared in the ocean. <gasps> like a portal? I guess so. Back where I was from, my grandma visited me in a dream and told me three important things. First, a great evil will fall from the sky and land into the ocean. Fortunately, I had help in retrieving it. But then came the second thing. That the evil will take me to a strange shore. And my grandmother wasn't kidding. Magical destiny quest! I know, right? Well, it's not my first. But the third thing Grandma said is that wherever I end up, I was going to get help from a group of people. And she showed me a symbol. What did it look like? Can you draw it? So, whoever these people are, it seems it's their destiny to stop this thing. Wait, isn't that... <gasps> oh, so you know who this is? Team... Teen? Yeah, it's a group of these kids who all saved the world once, and now they work together and go on missions and stuff. And Steven's a member! <laughs> well, an honorary member. I met them on a solo mission to retrieve a corrupted gem in the forest. And it took the team and several other guys to help take it down. And they sent him this cool card! And if there's ever a threat too big for me and the Crystal Gems to handle, I just press down on it and it'll contact them. Well, that's good. The sooner they can get this evil thing, the sooner I can try to get back home. This place is so weird. I mean, you have these weird invisible walls on windows. How do you get a nice breeze in? They don't have glass where you're from? Wait! Where are you holding this great evil? It's stored in my necklace and... Whoa... It's never done that before. Is it trying to get out? I think it's pointing to something. 
over where my ship is! Ugh, I knew I shouldn't have left it! Oh no! Ah! Oh! What the heck are those guys? Kakamura, but why are they here? They came looking for you. Myself included. Well, well. First the heart of defeaty, and now this weird black ink. You sure have a knack for finding mystical items. Tamatoa, what do you want with the black ink? Ugh, I forgot how pathetic you humans are. Us monsters have a knack for sensing power. And fortunately, it opened up a portal that led us straight to it. You can't hear it, but it's calling out to us. And the Kakamura and I will do anything to get it. Even if it means destroying this weird village. You kids get back. I'll handle this guy. I think me and Steven can help out. Yeah, we're pretty tough when we work together. Well, that's great. I'd love to see what you both can... What? Whoa, since when can humans do that? Let's toss this crab back into the ocean. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. Well, this just got interesting. Ha! Ah! 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 Ha! My shelf's too tough. Bid you Whoa. go ahead and... Ah! Now where'd the other one go? Ha! Wait, what? Ah! Ah! <gasps> one way or another, I'm getting that black ink. <laughs> Not again. I got you. Thanks, Steve. Uh, um, what do I call you? I'm out. Devani. Wish we didn't have to leave him like this. We'll have to so we can stop the Kakamura. Let's go. All right. Wait, wait, wait. No. Get back here. I hope the Kakamura haven't done too much damage to your village. Looks like my friends got it covered. <clears throat> Heads up, girl! Are all of your friends warriors? <laughs> Almost. Savani! Dude, we took out hundreds of these little guys. It was bananas! They were clearly coconuts, Amethyst. You missed all the fun. That's because we were fighting a giant talking crab with our friend. <gasps> Moana! Uh, uh, oh no! Uh, the Black uh, Ink! Come on, come on! Uh, come on, guys! Uh, we can't uh, let the crab uh, get... <laughs> yeah! Oh! Wow, what a rush! Quick, before the black ink spreads! Is that all you got? Uh-oh. Let's see what else this can do. Ooh. <gasps> oh! <laughs> huh? ah! How can we stop him? By attacking his weak point. Hey, you're strong, right? You think your shell is tougher than mine? Huh? Yeah! Ah! Ah! Oh. <sighs> You wanted to give that move another spin? Uh, uh, 